Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here. Welcome to day one of the 10 day wire bookmark making challenge. Be sure to check out all the details below the video to learn how to participate in the challenge and win great prizes like wire and tools from Beadalon, templates and tutorials from my Etsy DIY shop and custom made wire jewelry from my Etsy shop. Today we're making some classic flattened bookmarks with beads. What you're going to need for this project is 1.5 millimeter or 16 gauge wire, your tools and a variety of beads. So we're going to start with the 1.5 millimeter aluminum wire. The aluminum is quite soft and easy to work with. So we are going to use my cone method to make a spiral. So we're going to wrap it around one of these little ring display cones and then we're just going to take the end and turn it into a closed loop with the round pliers. You can just adjust it till it's closed and then we're going to push those little circles together, flatten them out a little bit and adjust them so they're equally spaced just push them with your thumb and fingers and then we are going to do another one with the copper wire. This is the 16 gauge copper wire. We are going to form a more geometrical shape. So using the Zeron tweezer nose pliers which are flat, we are going to bend some right angles and just push with your thumb to make nice sharp angles and we're going to turn it around. You can make a square shape, you can make a rectangle shape and we're just going to go around and around depending on how large you want to make it. So go slowly, push the wire with your thumb and keep going around getting larger as you go. You can use about 12 or 15 inches of the 16 gauge wire. The length of the wire really depends on how big you want to make your bookmark. So we're just going to keep turning it around so it's a nice elongated rectangle. And we need to keep a little wire at the end to dangle the beads from. So for the third one, we are also using the 16 gauge artistic copper wire and I'm going to make more of a triangular formation. Again, using the Zeron pliers. These are the tweezer nose pliers. They have a nice fine tip and we're just going to go around. Don't worry too much if these sides are perfect. We're just going to keep getting a little bit bigger as we go to form a triangle. And make sure you need, leave enough wire to dangle the beads from. And we're going to bend it straight up at the center top. So from there we're going to clip the wire so it's not too long with our flush cutters. Now to flatten it, you can use a pasta maker. I have a few tutorials flattening wire with the pasta maker. It works quite well, especially with the softer wire. Be sure to set it at a lower setting, about three or four to start. And then we can do one sort of round of flattening at a more open setting. So once you've done it once, you can set the machine a little bit tighter. I'm putting it to the size five and we're going to feed it through again. Usually you can clamp it to the table, but I'm just holding it with my hand to demonstrate how it works. And then you can do little adjustments by hand. So another way to flatten it is with a rolling mill. This machine I bought 30 years ago, it was a bit expensive, but you can get them more affordably now on Amazon. And once they're flattened, we're just going to turn the end around. You can leave it straight up or curve it around. And we're going to clip the end flush. And then we'll do a little loop. 
You could also flatten these with a hammer if you prefer, or you don't even have to flatten this wire. So these are our three samples. And now to attach the beads, you can use long head pins or you can make your own with 20 gauge wire. So we're gonna do a little loop at the bottom, put your beads on and clip it to about 3 8 to half an inch, bend the wire back and around to make a loop. And then you simply dangle it on the end of the flat bookmark, close up that loop, and this one's really cute with the ladybug bead. And next we are going to actually make a little daisy flower. I have a few different tutorials using these flowers to make rings and earrings. It's just a very basic flower starting with six beads that are four millimeters. These are my favorite miracle beads. Close the loop, bend the wire down, and put another four millimeter miracle bead in the middle. So from there, we are gonna loop the end around, give it a good little tug, and then we're going to add some seed beads to make the leaves. And then we will just surround each seed bead with the wire to hold it in place. And then we're gonna wind the wire around to secure it. And we'll keep adding beads in the same manner. So once we have a bunch of those beads, we're gonna measure it and make a loop at the top to dangle it from the bookmark. You can really dangle anything from these bookmarks. I have all kinds of different designs in my other tutorials. So if you wanna dangle different little musical notes or different icons, you can do that as well. So we're going to open up that loop on the bookmark and add the flower and close it up. So there's another idea to dangle from the bookmark. Now, if you wanna dangle multiple beads, just make three of these little head pins with the wire, close up the loop, and then we're gonna just make our own jump rings. You can use commercial jump rings if you want. Cutting it with the flush cutters. I'm using 20 gauge wire to make the jump rings. So we wanna clip it flush and then open up the jump ring and put on our little bead components. So I made three of them. The middle one has a cute little heart on it. And of course I used my miracle beads and then we'll add it right to the bookmark. It's fancy with the three little lines of beads. It's nice the way they dangle. And there you have your one with the dangling beads. Thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for all kinds of wire art and jewelry making tutorials. You can share photos of your work from the challenges in the 10 day challenges private Facebook group for the duration of the challenge only. If the challenge is over, you can still join the group to view work from previous challenges and stay tuned for future challenges. Thank you to Beadalon for supplying the prizes for my 10 day challenges. Thank you to everyone who participates and shares their beautiful creations. And we'll see you the next time.